Destroyers are some of the largest and most complex warships built today. With their advanced weaponry, radar, and other systems, it's no surprise that constructing one of these vessels is an immense undertaking that requires thousands of people and takes years to complete. Making an amazing warship certainly takes a lot of time. The work must also be done very carefully because even the slightest mistake in the work can result in something fatal in the future. The first step is the design and planning phase. Naval architects, engineers, and military planners will spend one till two years developing the detailed designs and construction plans. They have to determine things like what weapons, sensors, and other capabilities the ship needs to have, as well as how all the complex systems will integrate and fit physically within the hull. Okay, let's take a look to an amazing U.S. Navy guided missile destroyers. Huntington Ingalls Industries, one of the shipbuilding industries, states that to make a DDG ship with 509 feet long and a 66-foot beam, it took them approximately four years to complete. Let's dive deeper. One of the best DDG ships in the world, the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers are the U.S. Navy's most powerful destroyer fleet. These highly capable multi-mission ships conduct a variety of operations, from peacetime presence to national security. The DDG-51 class design is captured in a three-dimensional model and interfaced with the computer-aided manufacturing systems, in which numerically controlled manufacturing equipment cut plate and bend pipe. Ingalls Shipbuilding uses modular construction techniques pioneered by the shipyard in the 1970s and refined over the years to maximize shipyard throughput. During the construction of a DDG-51 destroyer, 72 structural assemblies are integrated, forming 21 grand blocks. These grand blocks are integrated, creating the ship's hull modules 1, 2, and 3. The deckhouse is landed, piping systems installed, cable routed, equipment connected, and systems readied for test. The ship is moved to a dry dock and launched in a 12-hour time period. Final outfitting and test is completed pier-side. Arleigh Burke class destroyers include three 22 miles of cable, 185,000 feet of pipe and enough hull insulation, 450,000 square feet, to cover the roof of the Superdome in New Orleans. Armor is placed around vital combat systems and machinery spaces. Acoustic infrared and radar signatures have been reduced, and vital shipboard systems are hardened against electromagnetic pulse and overpressure damage. In addition, a collective protection system guards against nuclear, chemical, and biological agents. Each new Arleigh Burke that joins the fleet bolsters the U.S. Navy's ability to protect vital interests around the globe, thanks to the dedication of thousands of skilled shipbuilders, engineers, and naval personnel. As pressing global threats continue to evolve, staying on the cutting edge of naval technology through continuous upgrades and new construction will be crucial. That's all for today. See you in the next Beyond episode.